point-to-point -point gives the maximum privacy story one dedicated path per tenant and hi tech lovers welcome back to fast cabling so today we are wiring a storage and personal use building with 20 rental units and each tenant wants their own secure internet and the owner wants it to scale as new units are leased without turning the place into a spaghetti monster so we're doing it with point-to-point -point fiber and i will show you exactly how we set it up and if you've ever tried to run copper or share Wi-Fi across a big building like this here, we know the pain, distance limits, and bandwidth bottlenecks. Copper Ethernet taps out around 100 meters before performance drop, and share Wi-Fi sounds convenient, but you are sharing the air. More tenants equals more contention, noisier spectrum, and lower speed, but we need reach, speed, and rock solid privacy. So that's why we're going fiber and not just any fiber. There are two big topologies for fiber. PON, passive optical network. It lets you split one fiber among many units. It's cost efficient and power friendly, but traffic is shared on that segment. And while there is security mechanism, point to point gives the maximum privacy story one dedicated path per tenant and that's what we want here individual secure links that are easy to meter shape and troubleshoot so point to point it is so fiber carries huge bandwidth across long distances with minimal loss it's immune to electromagnetic interference and it gives us flexibility so our design is simple in the control room we have this 24 port managed switch and each list unit get its own fiber home run and in the units we have the fiber media converter to turn lights back into ethernet for the tenant's wi-fi and every unit units get its own VLAN for privacy and we will add QoS so heavy users don't ruin it for everyone else and as more units lease we patch another fiber and provision a new VLAN no forklift no re-architecture so let's begin so this is our 24 port managed switch on the control side managed means we can create vlan apply qs and monitor ports remotely all the good stuff you need for multi-tenants and now i'm going to connect it to a router using this fiber to copper connector so we can use ethernet cable connect to our router here all right and then these cages are SFP slots and we'll need an SFP transceiver. This is the little module that converts the switch electrical signal into lights for the fiber and vice versa. You choose SFP based on the distance and fiber type. For a building like this, a single mole fiber with 1G SFP is perfect. So now I'm going to plug in four of them. We are using four fiber patch cord here. All right, so now you can see for our project, we're using pre-made single mode fiber. It's the plug and play option. Factory polished LC connector on both ends. You can measure to length. It's fast, clean, and perfect if your pathway are friendly. But make sure you label on both ends by unit number. Your future self will thank you. Let's take out the caps. And going to plug in all four of them. All right. And the fiber patch cord is going to go all the way to our termination box here. So we have ports here. The termination box is already connected to another fiber optic cable. Now single mode give us long run visibility and upgrade headrooms. And our runs are well under kilometers, so there are more than enough. So let me plug in all four of them. I'm 
I'm going to power up our fiber switch. Here we go. And coming over here, we have another termination box for security and organized. Now let me take it out. Now you can see our four strands fiber optic cable is also connected to the termination box. And on this end, I'm just going to use two fiber patch cord. So I'm going to connect two of them for demonstration. Now over here, we have our media converter. Think of it as a tiny bridge, fiber in, ethernet out, and the fiber bits op fits optical signal in, the converters output copper ethernet that any Wi-Fi router understand. Also, we'll need an SFP transceiver. Plug it in here. Let's do the same for the run right here. And we are going to use an ethernet cable to connect the media converter to our router. And if you need to power your Wi-Fi access point, you can even use a media converter with PoE out. So now the router broadcasts only the tenant's network. But behind the scene, we need to create VLAN on the managed switch so the traffic stays private all the way to the router. And on the switch, the uplink toward the router is a trunk port. It will carry all the VLANs tagged. And no worry, the tags will go through the media converter. It doesn't affect anything. So now every tenant gets their own IP space and their own gateway. And quality of service, QoS, is about fairness and responsiveness. In a multi-tenant building, one user's giant download can ruin video calls for others if you don't shape it. So we can set per VLAN bandwidth ceiling, so each unit gets a fair slice. And the result is predictable performance. Even at peak times, calls feel snappy and nobody can accidentally saturate the whole building. And if you later upgrade the upstream bandwidth, you can just rise the per VLAN caps and you're done. And now your managed gear pays off here. With remote management, you can see which units are online and spot flapping links. If a tenant move out, you disable that port and archive their VLAN. And when a new one signs, you enable a new port and DHCP pool. No truck roll to rewire anything. So that's it. We avoided copper distance limit and shared Wi-Fi congestion. We chose point-to-point -point fiber for maximum privacy and clean troubleshooting, carved the network into per-unit VLANs for isolation and used QoS to keep experiences smooth. And we make it all manageable from a single line of glass. So that's a secure, scalable fiber bill for 20 units. Done right and ready to grow. Now, if this video helped, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and tell us what you'd like to add in your own builds. And I'll see you in our next one.